Welcome back to another Raid Shadow Legends video with Blaze in Corp. We are continuing day three, I think. Yeah, day three. Oh my goodness. Brabby, oh my goodness! Of the verse of the Grim event next. All right, so we are starting with the tournaments here. Uh, we have got the uh, Spider Tournament going on. Classic Arena is coming down the pipeline here, so that is going to be a ridiculously easy uh, there draw. Uh, so you know, get ready. You know, get your guys up and uh, smash some people. Uh, here, Spider. I'm already done. I went all the way up to the Skill Tome. I'm trending number two. I could go for number one. There's no point. It's exactly the same uh, here in terms of the reward. So I'm just going to hold off uh, this guy at number three um, just by just doing a little bit more than he does and uh, kind of sail into this particular win and getting an extra five shards uh, there, which will bring my total at the moment to 25 uh, here so really important there while we're at it let's check the events uh, so right now artifact enhancement event going on we've got the five already um, I'm probably just going to get the epic skill tome it doesn't take much you know as I said yesterday I'm gonna spend a boatload of cash I've already spent about uh, 12 million silver uh, here getting people up to well, getting gear up to par and uh, probably just gonna spend a little bit more to get up to 65 I think it's a kind of a win-win I have to have to do this stuff anyway I have to up uh, have to you know put money into this gear so I might as well do that now while getting some gifts you know it just makes sense uh, here so we'll do a bunch of sixes we'll do some fives but for most part we're gonna do sixes uh, here because I want to start getting rid of my five star gear um, altogether. Uh, even the decent pieces I kind of want to get rid of. Um, so that way I can just uh, get to the point where I'm just using all six star gear, which will be nice uh, there. But uh, you gotta, gotta start, I, sh I should just start gearing everybody that I can. Um, so that way I can get rid of all the gear that's in my. Uh, in my, uh, I guess it's storage. All right, so that's done. Summon Russia, as you guys saw not too long ago, is done. Uh, here we got the fragment and we shut it down. Uh, I don't really feel like going any further. Um, if I was like a super whale, I would smash this. Uh, here, get all the extra chickens and legendary tomes, but uh, I'm not a super whale. I'm not really trying to buy too much. Uh, here at all I'm a, you know extremely low spender so uh, yeah we're just gonna do the bare minimum to get the fragment champions and uh, our fragment champion fragments and uh, yeah then we're gonna go from there so fra everything so far is completed uh, here we're gonna go a little bit more on the on the artifact enhancement side and I might as well show you the team I am rolling with currently for spider so my current spider team does include the most recent fusion uh, there which is nice uh, on that end All right so I'm um, definitely not a bad way to go whatsoever all right, so uh, you've got Herndeg here. Oh, where did he go? There he is. Herndeg's uh, pretty awesome, actually. Uh, he is surprisingly well. He's kind of what I thought he'd be, which is a spider champion. Uh, here, he can do multiple other things. Uh, feel free, go and check out my champion spotlight video on him. Uh, here, the main piece that we're going to use here to is going to be uh, his decrease debuff and his decrease accuracy which is kind of nice uh, he's not but he is not um he has no tombs in him right now so we're kind of playing him as like the worst version of himself 
which is only going to get better as he gets lower cooldowns and uh, you know hits harder, has better chances to kind of do all his movements uh, here. Uh, this is really what I'm using to get the HP burnout right now. At least uh, I've got one more day, one more day until I get Dexter Blood Twin, and he's going to go immediately into my spider team once I build him out. Uh, so yeah, basically I'm, I'm putting this. Attacks one enemy, fully depletes target's turn meter. Will also attack all enemies if the first attack is critical. This AoE attack has a 75% chance. When booked, it'll be a 100% chance of placing a weakened debuff for two turns. Will also place an HP burn debuff for two turns after the attack on the enemies whose turn meters are below 30%. Right here so that is huge that will be on a four turn cooldown right now it's on a six and uh, if i was manually spider i would use stasis strike uh, sorry i'd use lethal lust to kill some of the spiders so i could uh, just constantly be rolling through my stasis strike uh, which would be kind of cool but as it is not um, not manually spider that is never going to happen well at least not right now um, but it is what it is right now all right, so um, let's take a gander at Spider uh, here while we talk through, you know, how we're gonna find a finish up the the event. Uh, well, for tomorrow. All right, so tomorrow we're gonna have the classic arena. You know, we're just going to kind of, you know, we're gonna do what I normally do with arena, which is hunt the easy prey uh, here. So. Um, anyone who I know I can beat, I'm going to go for. Not really going to do that. I'll do some of the half-half ones where you know I could get beaten or I could or I could beat them. It's very rare that I do those nowadays. I'm just kind of searching for the easy stuff, just to get as much of my great haul done before the way they've reset the arena changes back to being super hard uh, there. So. Um, you know searching for all the easiest guys possible uh, you can just see there that uh, HP burn strategy uh, there along with having Royal Guard in here is a really good strategy to uh, get the boss down here all right so you can see I'm constantly burning uh, there the spider it's kind of a neat strategy I've always wanted to do it I just never had the champion to uh, soon enough, we're going to be replacing Bad L with Dexter Blood Twin uh, there. So that way, as he's getting hit, he's putting out HP burn. Hindering's putting out HP burn. It's just an HP burn bonanza uh, here. Um, besides that, uh, yeah, make sure you are doing your classic arena. Get as many of those as possible. You know, that's pretty much the most important part of the game because it's a permanent buff to your stats. So like basically right now, uh, here I've got uh, 25, like regardless who I pull, if it's a magic champion, I have 25% uh, increase of crit damage and I've got 70 uh, points of accuracy just built in to all my champions because I have a 10 star and a nine star, which is about to be a 10 star uh, there. So an 80, 80 increase on accuracy uh, there soon enough. Then I'm going to start working on resistance for uh, magic. Uh, magic, see, well, magic's like kind of everywhere. They're the most used champions in my uh, group, so I'm going to build out that first uh, there. So after accuracy, I'm going to go for resistance because I definitely want my resistance high. I'm starting to, you know, trend up in Doom Tower hard, even with my uh, mid tier builds on these guys, and I'm realizing I need a crap ton of resistance to be able to uh, run content in the higher levels of Dune Tower hard. So I'm um, definitely going to uh, be working on resistance afterwards and we will take it from there. Thank you so much for watching guys. It has been a fantastic time uh, talking to you or monologuing at you. Um, do look forward to seeing your comments below do let me know how you guys are doing if you guys are doing this event uh, here and we'll see you next time let's chat then